Hi jazz guitar aficionado, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. Today's lesson is all about hybrid picking on guitar. I'm going to be showing you tips and exercises to master this technique. Professional guitarists of all genres use hybrid picking because it's the most flexible right hand technique. So this uh, lesson is not limited to jazz. So loosen up your right hand fingers and let's get started. Okay, first off, what is hybrid picking? Hybrid picking is when I play with my pick and my fingers simultaneously, all right? Like uh, this. And you can do that in all styles. We need a fat pick for, well, not for this, but it's, it's better to use a not flexible pick. So uh, in jazz, I use uh, two or three millimeter picks. If I play rock, maybe I go down to 1.5, but the thing is it shouldn't bend, otherwise you have no control over it. All right, now how to hold your pick correctly. Place it, make, make something like an X or a cross and place your pick in there. 90 degrees angle off your uh, thumbnail and it shouldn't stick out too far like a third of an inch or uh, 0.7 centimeters okay something like this here you go that's a better angle now let me show you how to practice hybrid picking you first use your pick and your middle finger only and choose not two adjacent strings, but one string apart minimum. So let's say your uh, thumb, pick and thumb, play uh, the uh, low E string, then uh, put your middle finger into the D string and practice to get an equal tone. What we strive for is consistency in volume, right? So both tones sound the same volume, uh, the finger tone maybe a little louder because it has the melody of the comping on the voice leading so uh, the chords have a kind of a melody too i'm not talking about the melody of the song but the melody of the voice leading and that means um the highest note is that melody and needs to be a tad louder okay so just the two of these take another pair a string and g string make him sound simultaneously not like in the beginning it sounds like this but what you strive for is next pair and last pair and that should sound really a little louder should be definitely be very audible okay next thing Practice with your ring finger and your pick. So uh, you take the A E string and the G string, for example. Again, da must be must be clearly out audible. Next string pair and the last one. Now play. The middle and ring finger simultaneously on the D and G strings plus the bass on the E string. Take any chord, you don't see that now, but I'm taking, I'm fretting a C major chord. And da should be the loudest. All right, now let's add the pinky. That's the hardest one and it has to be the loudest usually. Usually it's the loudest because it has the highest tone. All right, uh, let's check this C major chord again and play E string, D, ring is on the G and the pink is on the B string. Right, all together simultaneously. If it doesn't sound good, practice just these two alone first. 
has to sound. Also, try to memorize the sound of each string. Sometimes dum is not being heard because people tend to not play that. That's not good. We want to hear all three plus the bass. Dun needs to be heard too. Finally, you can uh, practice a little picking. So one after another. Because this is used too sometimes. And also for ballads, Practice this, but this is a little hard to do in the beginning. One quickly, one after each other, one after another, arpeggiated. If you come from a finger picking background, you might want to start with your fingers only omitting the index because the index is the one that holds the pick along with the thumb. So practice as you always did, but using these three fingers for the upper uh, three strings and not playing your index, okay? So you might want to play something like this. Let's get you a better angle. Just two strings, changing over to uh, three strings, and all four. Change between uh, string sets, just like the previous uh, lesson, but start uh, with fingers if you come from a finger picking background, and then uh, change over to the uh, exercises with the pick. Another thing you might want to practice uh, when practicing hybrid picking is the use of melody tones in between chords. And usually I do it, those melody tones I mean, I do them with my uh, pick because it's more precise and louder. But you could use your fingers too. So let's give you an example. I go to G major, that's a 3 4 4 3, but that's actually not the point here. And now I want to have a melody note added on the fifth of the B, and I I play it with my uh, pick. You could also use your like your middle finger, but it's not as loud and not as precise. So pick downstroke or upstroke, depending on the situation really. If it's fast or slow, where the next chord is. So you might want to practice each of these finger, I use the middle finger usually, pick down or pick up, then go to the next chord, let's say a G major 7 inversion, 7, 5, 7, 7, oops, next melody tone, 10th of the B, and I go down again. Thirteen, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, and another chord at the end. G major seven. You might also want to practice going through one uh, each of the strings fast. I take the A string and the upper three strings. All right. I use that for ballads a lot. Get used to the hybrid picking technique by only using it for the next couple of weeks only. So I mean if you're a finger picker and you need to finger pick in between that's totally fine. But don't practice just for like five minutes a day hybrid picking and think that's enough. It's not enough. You have to immerse into that uh, technique. And that can only be done by using it all the freaking time for the next couple of weeks. And then it kind of becomes second nature to you. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I see you next week. Servus from Vienna.